Hello YouTube, the gun out here. It's another great day to be an American. Let freedom reign. Today I'm going to share the results that I got when I was shooting 77 grain Sierra tipped match king bullets powered by Power Pro Varmint in my Radical Firearms 18 inch upper with a CMMG MK4T lower and a primary arms 4 to 14 power scope. Now I shot these loads with um, Federal Brass and Winchester Small Rifle Primers. So let's, go, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the results. So group, if you can call it that, group number one, 23.9 grains. We had these, this nice pattern of five shots. Now if we throw a tape measure on that because it's really not cali caliper worthy, we see about a right around a two inch, slightly less than two inch group. Probably the best one out of the bunch. At 23.9 grains, we had an average velocity of 2560, an extreme spread of 3779, and a standard deviation of 15.90. Moving on up to 24.2 grains, and you can see there this lovely four shot group. So we'll just check it with the tape measure here. Looks like we had, oh, about a two and three quarter to three inch group at 24.2 grains. And at 24.2 grains, we had an average velocity of 26.42, so we had a pretty big jump up, about 82 feet per, per second. An extreme spread of 17.31, and a standard deviation of 7.61. So pretty good velocity data at that 24.2 grains of power pro varmint. Moving on up to 24 and a half grains. So there's our four shots at 24 and a half grains. And checking it with the tape measure, we had, oh, about a two and a half inch group at 24 and a half grains. 24 and a half grains, we had an average velocity of 26.55, extreme spread of 32.59, and a standard deviation of 13.71. So the results, the consistency got worse at that 24 and a half grains. So moving on up to the last load level I shot, 24.8 grains, there's our four shots. And at 24.8 grains, it looks like it's uh, slightly more than a three inch group. And all I have is this wonderful um, group at 24.8 grains because the chronograph stopped working. So I did not get any velocity data at 24.8 grains. So let's take a look at our brass here at 24, at 23.9 grains. Nothing to be worried about. 24.2, don't see really any issues there. Maybe a couple of um, burnishes on the case at 24.2 grains. Moving to the next batch at 24.5 grains, I do see some more marks there. But sometimes, you know, this could actually be from a previous firing. Nothing seemed uh, to indicate huge issues with pressure here. And then at 24.8 grains. Now here's the magical 25.1 grains that it, I, I did not shoot. So this is what the rounds looked like. I did not shoot these because I got so frustrated with the poor accuracy I was seeing that I decided I would save these for my other gun because, well, I was shooting them in a 188 twist. And this is a long bullet, the 77 grain tip match king. Let's just take a quick look at the bullet. So this is a fairly long 22 projectile bullet, the 77 grain tip match king. So I felt like it could be a twist issue. I didn't really see any key holding, but it certainly wasn't shooting accurately. And this uh, Radical Firearms Upper has shown that it does shoot pretty accurately for me. So I decided to go ahead and share these less than stellar results with you. Just to show you that, uh, you know, it doesn't always go as planned. And... Maybe I should have saved these rounds to shoot my other upper that has the one in seven twist, but I really liked how the Radical Firearms uh, upper was shooting with 60 grain Hornady V Max, so I decided I would give it a try with these uh, tipped Match Kings, and it does not like it, so I will probably not waste any more time on trying to shoot these bullets through this gun, but I will spend some time with my my original CMMG upper as a 16 inch barrel with a one in seven twist. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and you guys be safe out there.